Hey, what's up? Husband here, and today's video is all about compression. So I put out an Instagram post asking what you would like to see for this week's tutorial. Go for an EQ trick or some compression tricks and compression was just a little bit ahead. So I'm doing compression this week and next week, same day, we're gonna do EQ, which got also a really cool tip for to instantly make your EQ and mix downs better. But for this week, I'm gonna share with you a few techniques that I always use in all of my productions. But I thought it's good to first think about what compression is actually doing in our tracks and what actually the proper scientific name for compression is. Compression is a process of lessening the dynamic range between the loudest and quietest parts of an audio signal. This is done by boosting the quietest signals and attenuating the loudest signal. What all that means is basically you have a sound with just like a loud portion and a more quiet portion and by using compression we are gonna bring that loud portion of the sound closer to that quiet portion so you have a more even sounding sound actually. Compression comes in all kinds of variants. Companies make all kinds of different compressor with all kinds of different functions with a little bit of their own flavor to it. So the first technique that I want to talk to you about is the over the top compression. In short, my favorite plugin called the OTT. The OTT is actually a multiband compression, an upward and downward multiband compression. So basically you can also with this plugin choose which frequency bands you want to manipulate and compress. And you can set the levels of which the quiet parts will be increased or the loud parts being decreased. I never use this, I only use it for the depth button. It's basically the dry wet button of this great little plugin. This compression is really great if you just want to have your leads or your bass lines or perhaps even drums, although I don't use a lot of drums, to really stick out of the mix and really pump, pump them up a bit. It's a bit like put your sounds on steroids. It pumps it up and really brings it in your face. So let's see how this works on a sound. So now here I have a lead sound, which is like a melody, which sounds like this without the compression. Now this is how it sounds when you just put the plugin on there. I know, horrible, too much compression. So I always like to bring it back to around 30% and then you get a sound like this. which I think is much more in your face and much more aggressive, which is for electronic dance music, really helpful to get your sound really aggressive and powerful in the mix. Now you can also do this with Super Sauce, here is without it. Bring it back to 30% and again, it makes it a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more gritty in your face. And the same thing goes for bass lines, I use it on there as well, which you can really make it to sculpt the bass line a bit more in your face. And yeah, you could use it actually on anything, but I think for, for like instruments or pads or piano, it's much too aggressive. So would, personally, I really focus it on bass lines, leads and super sauce. So that's the first technique of today. Now the second technique that I always use is an actual multiband compressor. And I always use the Pro MB from Fab Filter. Now, what is actually a multiband compressor? I've talked about it briefly. With a multiband compressor, you basically can set regions in your frequency range which you want to compress. For instance, if you have like a loop which has like a really loud, high frequency, annoying sound, like for instance, like a hide or something or like a crash, then you can just set up that region to be compressed and all the other things will just remain as they were. Now there's one technique that I've come across a few weeks ago, I think like three weeks ago. I was looking to try to make some hardstyle kicks and just combining like a tail with a punch. And I just couldn't get it to sound right with each other. It was like, it sounded particularly like there was like a punch which I made and a, a tail that I made, but they didn't fit together really well. Now I talked a bit about this with Michael Face, who is a really good hard cell producer, and he taught me that they use a lot of multiband compression to just bring the two back together. So I opened up the multiband compression, I just went through some presets and I found this really great preset which is called Sit in a Mix Drums. Now at first you will think, again, this will sound horrible, but you need to tweak one essential step and that you need to bring up the low frequency band all the way so you get it around here otherwise all your low freaks will be gone like see you later nothing you can do with them anymore so just bring them up a bit now what i actually do with this technique i'm going to increase the gain a bit in the low frequencies and then i'm going to compress it underneath the zero point 
So basically we're just gonna increase the volume and then every time the loudest part is hitting, it's gonna get ducked a little bit. Now what this will do, it will really make sure that the kick will become much more uh, integrated in your mix. So I made this little intro bass drop and this is how it would sound without the multiband compression. Still pretty powerful, but uh, as you can hear, the kicks are much more uh, on top of the mix instead of inside the mix, like as a, as a one complete mix down. So this is with that multiband compression on. This will sound much more pleasing and much more professional sounding because it sounds like it's really fitting into the rest of the mix down. Now, of course, you need to be really careful with this because if you go too far, you will lose a lot of the punch of the kick. I've actually went back to a few of all the tracks of mine because I always had that problem because I've learned that you always need to have your kicks really loud in the mix. And I was listening back to Arrival, Heroic, and all those tracks, those earlier tracks, like even from last year, they had that same problem, which I could e easily be improved on and made sound more professional if I just added that multiband compression trick to really bring it just a little bit more subtle in the mix. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is glue compression on a group. And you can do this on any group if you want it to sound more cohesive with each other, more fitting together. What we're basically doing with this compressor, we're bringing all the layers which we have in the group more together so it will more sound in one cohesive layer and again, a more professional sounding layer. Now the name of the glue compressor already explains it. It's really tailored for gluing stuff together and it's much more subtle than for instance like the OTT and it doesn't have a lot of the features like a multiband compressor, but for this, we don't need it. We just want all the layers to be brought more together. So I got here a lead layer, which is pretty big. I dare so say so myself, but it doesn't sound as professional at the moment. So what we're gonna do with the glue compressor, we're just gonna bring up the threshold a bit and we're gonna counteract it with the gain so it stays on the same volume. <laughs> As you can hear, it sounds much more like one complete cohesive layer. I'm using that word, I think, more often today than I've ever used in my life. But I really hate to say as a whole because it sounds horrible. Never mind. So that's my third tip for today. I really hope with these tutorials to give you some practical tips. So don't beat around the bush too much, but really tell about my findings as a producer and want to share it with you guys so you can learn from it as well. So I wish you all happy producing and I'll see you guys next week for the EQ tutorial video. Now, if you like what I do, you can really help me out with subscribing, liking the videos, hit the bell if you want to be notified whenever I would upload a new video. And then I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, bye-bye.